I'm Eric Hanselman, Principal Research Analyst for the 451 Research Arm of S&P Global Market Intelligence. And joining me today is Manish Gupta, the Vice President for Global Marketing for Java and Grand VM at Oracle. Uh, Manish, welcome. Great to be here, Eric. Today we're going to talk about application modernization, a subject that's critically important as organizations look to move through the process of digital transformation and digitization to be able to bring their application portfolios up to the requirements of today's businesses. From our vantage point, we really are fortunate to be able to interact with uh, a very large number of organizations, small and large, uh, that are in various phases of what they might consider and construe to be modernization. We, we think of the organizations we deal with in, in sort of three categories. Their applications are either in a mode where they're in maintenance mode, and they may or may not be changing a lot. You've got a second category where they are modernizing, either thinking of moving it to cloud or within on-premises deployments, just making some enhancements, or they are truly moving and or building new apps. Today, I think the biggest push is ensuring that you've got the ability to work across a whole range of different infrastructures uh, to be able to exist on-prem, in data center, co-location, cloud environments of your choice. In this continuous evolution and growth and innovation cycle that the organizations live in, apps have to meet the, the, the challenge. And so the architectures have to align with that ability to evolve over time. You know, again, uh, Java having served the needs of the marketplace for the past 25 years with over 50 billion JVMs deployed, um, it's, it's been trusted by you know, organizations across all industries. And, uh, and so when we think about organizations think, wanting to modernize, wanting to evolve, uh, the questions that we tend to hear is, how do I manage this? How do I contain my costs? How do I have greater predictability on the timeline for this evolution, for this change, for this modernization? How do I reduce my risk? And you know, some of the things that uh, are critical to successful operations of an organization really touch directly to successful evolution of these applications across the entire deployment base. That's a good point, Manish. If we think about the way organizations are approaching application modernization, it's really much more complex today. We think about what they have to handle and, and how they have to address a lot of the challenges of application modernization broadly. Uh, we really are in a very different environment. Clearly, Eric. Um, what, what, are, what, is, what observations do you have on the greatest challenges as the organizations navigate this modernization journey? Well, they're really, to my mind, uh, three different areas that, that really are critical in this process, and, and especially today, to a much greater extent than they have been historically. Uh, the first of those is, is managing risk, <laughs> although realistically, uh, you could really say the top three are risk, risk, and risk. Uh, but if we think about what organizations are, are looking to address, uh, you want to make sure that you know, you're moving this process forward uh, in ways that are going to both increase your chances for success, uh, you know, minimize the impact of, of the application modernization process itself. Uh, and, and that's something where we think about the environment that's necessary to make this happen. Uh, it, as we were identifying earlier, uh, we're now into a, a day and an age where the application modernization tasks that organizations face are more complex and as a result are potentially significantly more risky. Uh, and that means that they've got to be able to ensure that they can minimize the impact to their existing code base. They need to understand that they can actually move forward with capabilities that are going to be able to allow them to address vulnerabilities uh, and also be able to deploy into the broadest range of environments possible um, when they're moving this whole application process forward. One of the things we have done recently is to introduce a new cloud native service called Java Management Service. Uh, it runs on Oracle Cloud infrastructure, but allows you to manage your estate, whether it's uh, on-prem, in the cloud, any cloud, uh, in private or public cloud, or hybrid workloads as well. And, uh, and this service allows you to uh, find and report various versions of Java that are running in an environment. Uh, it gives you an idea of if they are up to date with the latest release versions or not. Are they above or below the security baseline? Uh, so it gives you, you know, visibility and then insights into what the gaps might be that you may want to address 
as you're thinking about uh, modernizing your application suite. And that's the other aspect of this, uh, but in, in the, the guise of increasing speed and efficiency, ensuring that the application modernization process can move forward efficiently and effectively so that you can actually accomplish the goals as rapidly as possible, um, but also to be able to do that uh, with uh, a, a level of efficiency that allows your teams to be able to accomplish those tasks um, without you know, requiring legions of, of uh, participants in that whole process. Um, you know, that's one of those things we think about, you know, the capabilities of an interpreted language like Java, being able to, to take advantage of just simply improving you know, VM capabilities you know, without even having to touch the code now you know you've got the ability to to affect the performance of an entire body of code. You just simply be by upgrading and improving capabilities within the virtual machine environment itself. We've launched CrawlVM Enterprise, the enterprise edition of that, uh, recently. In fact, we announced that uh, inclusion with Java management, uh, with Java SE subscription service, uh, in February of uh, of this year. It gives you the ability to get that performance boost you talked about. So if you're running in the just-in-time mode, you can certainly uh, boost the performance without making any code changes. If you're looking for instantaneous startup time, you can run it in an AOT or ahead-of-time compilation mode. And in, and in either case, it gives you the ability to get that performance at a lowered requirement on your resources, so fewer compute resources, uh, fewer uh, smaller memory footprint, and those things are so fundamentally important in your cloud native deployment or in your microservices framework architectures uh, that you know, GraalVM Enterprise just makes Java even more appealing as the organization are thinking about modernizing their, uh, their existing base or starting fresh on and making new applications that might be cloud native uh, in, in nature. These require the flexibility to deal with this whole range uh, but still use that common set of tools. With that in mind, about three years ago, we launched a, a very simple to understand and a clean, transparent package of offering called Java SE subscription. It was meant to be a pay-as-you-go model, um, available to small companies, to large organizations, so that they had the ability and access to the things that mattered in their journey. Uh, they would know exactly what the price structure was, depending on how many desktops are deployed, uh, how many servers are deployed, uh, whether it was on the cloud, it was on-prem. Um, they would have the flexibility and access to updates to all the Java versions, even those that had reached end of public updates. They would get quarterly uh, critical patch updates, so security baseline could be maintained. Uh, they would have access to the best of breed support, 24 by 7, really, really critical in any modernization journey, so you have a go-to resource pool that has the depth and breadth of knowledge uh, that comes with the subscription. And then we added uh, the CrawlVM Enterprise to get the performance boost. We added the Java Management Service to have the better visibility and insights. Uh, and then on top of all of this is the six-month predictability that comes uh, with the release cadence that was, that's been around for about three and a half years as well. One of the you know, studies we have, we have seen in the marketplace indicates that projects that have been done with Java are two and a half times more likely to complete on time. And, and that to me is, is, is really, you know, it says a lot in those few words and a single metric that you have better reliance, better predictability, and maybe a lowered risk parameter. What do you say are the top things you would advise the CIO or CTO of an organization as they're contemplating embarking or perhaps improving their modernization journey? Well, first and foremost, plan carefully. Um, you know, it, it's, it's easy to, to cast that off as, oh, of course, everyone's going to plan. But realistically, uh, especially with application modernization, you know, it, it is a complex enough process that this is something that you really have got to consider um, a, a set of, of different interacting capabilities that are going to be needed. You need the, the ability to be able to support different infrastructure environments, you know, whether or not that's on-prem, colo, cloud. And do that with uh, an environment that's going to give you the tools to be able to manage it, to ensure that the environment that you're heading towards is going to be supported by the tools that you're using. The other thing I'd also identify um, is as part of that, you know, ensure that you've got the ability to, to maximize flexibility. We talked about this earlier, um, but the one other piece that I'd identify is that you know, while there's a focus often on on pace and ensuring that that organizations can move as fast as they need to. 
It's also important to be able to move slowly when you need to as well. The other big piece is that when you think about uh, what organizations are often considering, look below the surface. You know, understand what's really going to be able to uh, make that modernization effort move forward. It's, it's often the case where organizations move towards things that you know, seem attractive for a very short term. Um, but you know, again, the application modernization process should be that, that piece that really ensures that uh, you have a perspective that this is going to be long term and that you need to be able to have a modernization environment that's going to support you throughout that. Ensure that you can move forward to the application modernization goals that you have with a capability that will minimize the total amount of uh, code change that's required to ensure that you've got the ability to get the most out of the performance of the platforms that you've got and ensure that at the same time, you can manage that overall risk of the process and the ongoing application modernization efforts that are going to be underway for, for a considerable period of time. Very well said, Eric. Uh, you packed in a lot of advice in that uh, in the last few statements. So hope the audience that uh, listens to this uh, uh, can take advantage of some of those, even if just a handful of those uh, elements uh, that uh, you laid out very carefully. Um, appreciate that. You know, from our vantage point, we've seen Java has been the leading development platform for over 25 years based on, a, on its pillars of trust, innovation, and predictability. It has served its well, not just for you know, the immediate term, but for the long term. As you said, don't go for the shiny object now, but go for what will help you in the long term because evolution will continue. This is not just about solving today's problems, but well into the future. And packaging within the Java SE subscription from Oracle, we have now included GraalVM Enterprise and the Java Management Service, which gives you the performance boots, enhanced efficiency, together greater flexibility and risk mitigation that's necessary for organizations, large and small, regardless of where they are in the modernization journey. The subscription really does position the organizations for success long term. Thank you very much. And uh, many thanks to our audience for hanging in there with us. And for the audience, if there is uh, anything uh, that you've heard today, if you find interesting, you want to double click on it, feel free to uh, reach out uh, to me on, on LinkedIn or go to oracle.com slash Java, where there is a plethora of resources available to give you greater insight and guidance. And from our side, uh, 451research.com, uh, part of the S&P Global Market Intelligence family at spglobal.com.